Hello best friend and a welcome welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having the most fabulous Saturday. I hope that today is a fabulous day for you. I hope that you had a great week so far and if you didn't best friend I just want to say I love you. You're not alone and everything's going to be okay. I promise you and I'm praying so hard for it to happen like that, okay? All right, best friend. So welcome back to my channel. If you are new, I spill pop culture videos every day. I do about five videos a day. I talk about all your favorite celebrities, including our queen, Miss Selena Gomez. So if that is something you are looking for, me and my knockoff Louis Vuitton bucket hat welcome you with warm hugs. So make sure to hit that subscribe button. We got to talk about this Selena Gomez hate that is coming in for this freaking phone case, which I cannot stand. Okay, so you guys saw the phone case saga, right? You guys saw me defending our queen. You saw all that, right? Well, there are now comments that I'm getting basically saying that she is purposely doing things to get back at Miss Haley Bieber. Now, I'm going to show you one of the comments that uh, that I responded to, okay? Because I was just not in the mood for it. So check this out. All right, best friend. So I made a video on Selena Gomez holding this phone case because a bunch of people were DMing me asking me if this was a Hailey Bieber Road lip gloss phone case. So I made a video saying, no, it's not. It's so-and-so phone case, right? All right, that's it. But of course, there's so many comments like this. Ah, oh, Selena, oh, Selena, just causing drama to shade Road because others took the concept. She's just a drama queen. Now, listen, honey, this message came in the perfect time because a bitch is hungry. Okay, I'm waiting on my food and I'm in a bad mood. So this this came in perfect time to blow off some steam. Now listen, girl, okay? If you are your if you do a freaky Friday with Selena Gomez, you're going to realize that as soon as you wake up, you are blessed, booked, and busy, honey. Okay? She does not have time to ignite or to participate in 2021 drama. Okay, boo-boo. She is successful. She is a billionaire running a billion dollar empire. Okay? Rare beauty is where the money is at, honey. Okay? There is no competition. There is no need to look at the other competitors, if that's what you want to call them. And that's it, best friend, okay? Selena Gomez does not have anything to do with Hailey Bieber. She is not thinking about Hailey Bieber. She is too busy reading lines, creating new products, new music, new TV shows, new movies, and so, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, okay? And let's not forget the most important thing she is doing, which is the Rare Beauty Impact Fund to help with mental health to raise $100 million, okay? So she has a face. She has the body. She has the mind. She has the talent. But what she doesn't have is the time to participate in drama with people that don't matter point blank period no shade to you girl just you know i need to blow up some steam bitch okay so i want you to get back in your car i want you to put the gps and go to another direction because this is not the final destination you want to end up in okay boo boo and p.s girl can we stop with this feud please they're not thinking about it selena gomez is blessed booked and busy okay and Haley bieber's literally creating a human being inside of her this drama is so passe it's not even important anymore so stop it nobody's trying to make nobody jealous and nobody's trying to make any any drama okay girl so best friend here's the here is the dealio okay i am so tired of people blaming first of all selena gomez for going out of her way, you know, according to them, going out of her way to purposely start drama with Hailey Bieber. Girl, she don't want her. She's not thinking about her. She's not worried about her. She's not checking in on her. She's not best friends with her. She's not braiding each other's ponytails with her. She's not cooking her dinner. She's not buying her damn smoothie at the Air One, the Hailey Bieber smoothie, okay, bitch? She has nothing to do with Hailey Bieber. And, and, and I feel like, you know, a lot, of, uh, a lot of people attack Selena Gomez fans for, you know, for, for starting drama or for, you know, commenting hateful things on Hailey Bieber's page or Justin's page and, and, and for some wanting Justin and Selena back together. But what about these type of comments, right? What about these type of comments where they're always constantly trying to bring down Selena? They're always constantly trying to bring down Selena. And I just feel like at some point in time, 
when is enough enough? You know, like enough is enough with the hatred towards Selena. Selena Gomez, I could bet you $5,000, girl. She is not worried about Hailey Bieber, okay? She didn't even like her pregnancy post. She is still following her, yes, but I think it's because of formality. I think it's so that the fans could have a, a, a sort of like, um, an, a, a, let's say an idea that everything is okay and that nobody is nobody has drama and everyone is good, right? But I just feel like, what is the obsession with wanting this drama to to actually happen, right? I I, I don't think that I, I I'm gonna listen. I'm gonna be very honest, okay? When all of this was going on about a year ago, right? I started talking about it, and I was very upset with Hailey Bieber fans, and and it was a constant battle in my in my DMs because they were coming for us, we were coming for them, and it was all very immature. I played a part of it, bitch. I will take ownership of that. I think that it's okay not to like somebody. I think it's okay to say, you know what? She is not my cup of tea, and that's okay, girl. Like, that's okay. We don't have to be each other cup of tea, bitch, okay? You are, you know, I'm chamomile, and you're fucking, you know, uh, uh, breakfast and English breakfast, okay? We do not mix well together, bitch, okay? And that's fine. So that's okay. We don't have to like each other. But like my girl Khalees says, okay? You don't have to like, you don't have to love me. You don't even have to like me, but you will respect me, okay? And that's what I think, you know, is probably missing. I know that I throw shade at Miss Haley. I know, girl, I know. But because I'm very open with it. I, they're not my cup of tea, but I never go beyond the line. So to say that Selena Gomez is is in the middle of a, of a meet and greet photo shoot launched for her new powder, and you think that she's posing on uh, Instagram with a phone that might be confused as a Hailey Bieber phone road case, and you think that she's only doing that to draw attention and create drama because of the fact that other people are saying that Hailey Bieber copied the phone case from other brands. You think Selena Gomez has that much time on her hands? With all the jobs and shows and businesses and everything that she has, you think that she brought, you think that she went and did like a, like a bulletin uh, fucking board, you know, plan A through Z of how to get at, at Hailey Bieber in a non, um, you know, uh, in a non, what you would call it way, you know, come on. She's not, not have the time for that best friend. Like I always say, she has the hair, she has the beauty, she has intelligence, but she does not have the time. Okay. That's, that's the whole thing here. So it's sort of like, you know, I will always defend Selena and I defended Haley plenty of times, but I just feel like to say that Selena is the one who is starting any drama Lately, for the past year, she has not done anything that has remotely to do with Hailey Bieber. Selena Gomez did that one um, uh, TikTok where it was Samantha Jones from Sex and the City uh, audio. And it was the scene where Samantha is hooking up with this married man. And in the clip, Samantha says, hello. And then the guy is like, I did it. I left my, my wife. And she goes, who is this? You know, like non, you know, she's not interested. She doesn't even know who you are and you left your wife. And Selena Gomez posted that and Lord Jesus did the floodgates of drama open. I remember I got flooded with comments, good and bad. So I ran to do my videos. And I have to say like anything Selena Gomez does and Hailey Bieber does that could remotely, you know, confuse as a dig or as something, it's gonna happen forever even 10 years down the line, best friend, okay? Even 10 years down the line, trust and believe that one of them will post something, one of them will put a certain song on and people are gonna jump immediately to it and say, this is a drama, this is it, this is it. So I'm just like, girl, I'm exhausted, bitch. I, you know, I'm exhausted. I don't, I don't know what to tell you about this, girl. I don't know what to say. I'm just gonna stretch. I'm just gonna stretch, seriously, girl. Do you guys remember, oh, do you guys, I'm wearing, I'm wearing uh, shorts, don't worry. Do you guys remember that um, I saw it the other day, I, it was like this, um, I don't know if you guys ever watched this, I didn't, but uh, there's a show of this clown and she would, she, she would sit and she would do like, there was like a big clock. Do you guys remember that? 
I, I, I don't remember watching it, but I do remember like watching some reruns. Um, and, and I just watched it the other day and she had like this huge couch and she would, and she would lay on the floor and then it would be like 12 and then, do, do you guys ever see that? Oh, uh, you know, I miss children, uh, children's, uh, what you might call it, children's thing. I feel like I'm in a therapy session. Um, listen, best friend, now that we're like, the tea is done and stuff. Um, I have a little bone to pick. I need, I need to know something, best friend, because, okay, when you go to the movie theater, right? What do you like, if you eat or drink anything, what is it that you like to eat or drink? Because I mentioned in a, in a previous video that I don't necessarily love popcorn. It's not my thing. I do like popcorn, don't get me wrong, but like I can't sit there and just eat like a whole fucking bucket of popcorn, right? So what I like to do, best friend, is I like to get like chocolate covered almonds, almonds covered with cho chocolate covered almonds, right? And what I like to do with them is suck them because they last long. I'm that type of person that I eat the snacks before the movie even starts. So Nicole Kidman hasn't even done the AMC intro and I'm already done with my food and my husband's the same. So I like to save my things for when the movie starts or have a couple and just suck on them. And then I feel like I have a snack for the whole movie. Can you imagine I'm paying $100 for a therapy session and I've been talking about this? I gotta go, best friend. Anyways, I love you all so much. We're gonna go watch Twister tonight. Um, so I'm, I'm excited to watch that movie because I love the original one and my husband loves National Disasters. And I already told you guys yesterday about the San Andreas Fault. Um, if you guys didn't know, I watched the, the movie San Andreas, the end of the world movie thingy. And we watched it like a while ago. And I was like, oh, you know, that that's so crazy, you know, blah, blah, blah. And he goes, you do. I was like, oh, you know, it's being filmed here in Los Angeles. And he goes, you do know that this is a real thing. And I was like, what do you mean this is a real thing? And he's like, yeah, San Andreas fault is literally underneath us. I was like, say what now? So, girl, ever since he told me this, I'm terrified to stomp or to walk on the wrong side of the fucking road. Because imagine I'm not, I don't know it, and I'm walking, and I step on the on the, the fault, and then boom, goodbye Los Angeles, we're fucked. You know what I mean? Anyways, I gotta go, best friend. I love you guys so much. This was video was a mess. I'll see you guys in my next video. Mwah. Bye.